When do you know that you have completed a block out for head and that you are ready to move on to detailing? Because that's actually kind of a little bit scary, right? When we work on heads, there's really usually two main phases to creating a head within Zebra, right? First is that we want to create the block out and what we're trying to do there is to really capture the whole morphology, the whole likeness. We're not worried about skin pores, we're not probably not even using layers. So that's what we do at the block out stage. And then once we are done with the block out, then uh, we move on to the high res for a face where we do the detailing. We add the skin pores, we add wrinkles. It actually becomes harder to do really big morphological changes, right? It's very scary, really, that kind of move from the block out to the high res stage, right? There's almost a bit of anxiety that kind of builds there to say like, oh, am I actually ready to move on to the high res? Like, is this actually happening now? People often ask me then, okay, like, like when do I know that I'm ready to move on from the block out to the high res? How do I know that? So something very interesting happened to me this morning. For the last few days, I've been back working on my Balthier personal project, which is something I have been working on for years at this point, but it's one of those uh, fetish projects that we all kind of have, those fetish personal projects that we kind of feel as if we probably should be working on something else, we probably should be moving on, but we just can't quite move on. We're still sort of too attached to our own personal projects. So something actually very interesting happened to me this morning because I got up and I opened my Balthier project in ZBrush. I applied a full character on the canvas and then instead of staring at it as a little thumbnail, okay, what I actually do is that I actually kind of look elsewhere, like I don't actually look at the character because I, I have bit of a mix of a little bit of anxiety at that point. I'm kind of just a little bit anxious about uh, my own judgment of my own work at that point. And then I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna zoom in on the on the head, okay? And I'm kind of gonna look around the perimeter of my screen because I wanna make sure that the head is really nicely in the center, but I'm not directly staring at it. And it's only when I know that the head is directly in the middle of the canvas in ZBrush that I allow myself finally to look at the work that I have done, look at the head itself. It's very, very important for me to do that because I want to preserve my first impression of my work because that first impression is the most important thing that really tells me, okay, is my block out? Am I satisfied with the quality of my block out or not? Am I happy with the morphology, with the likeness? Do I feel as if it's in a good place? And do I feel as if I'm finally ready to move on from the block out to the high poly stage? For the first time this morning, I laid my model on the canvas. I did everything that I just described here. And I had this feeling of relief, this feeling of, ah, this is actually good enough. I feel pretty good about this. I've done this particular exercise in the last few days. And even yesterday I had done this. I had applied the 3D model on the canvas. I had looked at it. There was something when I looked at it yesterday, the jaw was a little bit too big. So I had these very little kind of dissatisfactions with the 3D model when I looked at it yesterday. And for me, that is the telltale sign that I am not ready at that point to move on from the block out to the high poly stage because I'm still slightly dissatisfied by the morphology. This first impression for me, as you can see, I really try to preserve it. I try to cultivate it almost to make sure that it is the best possible first impression because I don't know for you, okay? But for me personally, I find that if I stare at a 3D model, perhaps about 30 seconds to about a minute, okay? After I've been staring at something for about 30 seconds to a minute, I start to be a little bit satisfied. And I, I'm not quite sure why that is, but I think part of that is because my brain simply starts to get a little bit tired of staring at the 3D model. Like I don't see things with new, fresh eyes anymore. So really like, like I lose that kind of feeling of, of looking at something with fresh eyes after about 30 seconds to a minute. And things that bothered me before, will usually bother me less and less. Those very first few seconds are absolutely critical and they usually guide me extremely, extremely well. There's like really nothing worse than like working on a head for like hours and then kind of feeling like, ah, I'm actually quite happy about this block out. I'm actually quite happy about the work that I have done there, right? Like just, just being kind of satisfied, feeling so good about the work that we have done that we say like, hey, I'll actually post this online. I'll look at the work I have done. I'm so proud of it. This is really wonderful. And then looking at our own work with fresh eyes the next day and then feeling like, oh my God, what did I do? That, that first impression is extremely, extremely important. And it is what I consider to be the best guide 
that I personally have to know whether I'm ready to move on from a blockout to a high poly stage or not. And so this may mean that I'll work on something for a few days, maybe even for like only 60 minutes, okay? Like I'll get up in the morning, I feel as if, okay, actually, nah, today I'm not quite feeling it. There's still some things that are a little bit off. So I'll work on something 60 minutes and then I'll just let it rest for the day. And it may take me a few days like that until I feel as if, yeah, I feel really, really good about this. Really waiting until I have that mental green light from myself as the first impression for me is really, really key. You know, really taking the time is really key to avoiding to carry on very big mistakes by moving from the blockout stage to the high quality stage.